There you go. I don't know if you can see that girly voice, but that was uh, a wild rabbit. It's a bunch out here. I'm out. Uh, I have to patrol uh, the fences once a week of the Bonobos facility. After we had that uh, that breakout, which was pretty epic, and uh, the uh, my lawsuit for that uh, when I got infected um, uh, turned out to uh, I'm, I'm well off. So I've got all the I've got all the really cush jobs now at the Bonobos facility, and I also have the pleasure of never having to work. So, I just do it because I can't think of anything else to do. Anyway, I also had to pull some of these out of the cage. They're so crafty, they could get to anything. It's not surprising that they got out. Anyway, that's not why I called to talk about work. Big, big monkeys. Um, called to talk to you about friends, literally friends, uh, or uh, sex in the city, or I could think of uh, a ton of different uh, movies that revolve around groups of friends together since high school or the old neighborhood. This is actually where I want to tuck the tiny house. Check this out. There's a perfect row of tall trees right there. Be shady. I could just wedge it right in that spot. I gotta tell, I gotta tell work that it's inconvenient and stressful for me ever since I was bitten by an infected bonobos um, to commute, so I should just live on the property. I'll be forced to obey. Oh. Oh. All right, well, here's, here's actually one of the movies I could think of, and I can't remember the stupid, stupid name, but it was something like uh, Friends Forever or something like that. And there's a group of like 12 people, you know, men and women, and then it kind of charted them throughout a year. And uh, during that year, friend betrayed friend. One friend turned to drugs. One friend became a full-blown alcoholic. There was stealing, broken glass. Uh, angry words that could never be retracted were uttered. Uh, couples broke up because they cheated. Uh, and then the people they cheated with, they decided, like, well, let's just let's go back to our original partners, except some didn't want to do that, and those people stayed together. And at the end of the year, the movie ended on a Christmas or some such thing, where they always got together and had a family Christmas without their families. Um, and it was a show, this long shot of everyone just talking and laughing, and the one ex-girlfriend handing uh, mashed potatoes to the ex-boyfriend, and they're just like, oh, thanks so much, they're so delicious, aren't they? Hey, remember six months ago when you totally broke up with me, uh, except you did it after you cheated on me, and then the guy you cheated on with me uh, was, is right next to us? It's like two chairs away. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that was a long time ago. Let's, let's have turkey. Um, <laughs> it was just a dumb movie. I'm not, I'm not resentful at the idea that... Uh, let's walk down this hill and see if I fall. And I'll sue them again. Um... I'm not resentful at the idea of forgiveness and that love is, uh, uh, that can be ephemeral and true love shouldn't be held back by any sense of possession or jealousy or, or whatnot. Um, and I'm sure, <laughs> I just think that if all that stuff in the movie really happened all within 365 days, um, well, there at least would have been a shooting and they might have actually just said, let's skip this year's Christmas. Um, but, I mean, that's just my cynical, crazy cynical uh, attitude at 43. And, you know, I'm not, you know, as, as much as uh, I liked when, uh, apropos, uh, said I was a people person, because um, I don't believe he was right. <laughs> Maybe I come off like that. Uh, certain facets of my personality might come off like that. But I only show certain facets of my personality. Um, I think that, so, what you said about um, and putting investment in friendship um, makes me wonder what, what kind of investment are you talking about? And, uh, you know, and investment in time and emotion and in, uh, in patience and forgiveness. Um, but I also wonder if our, our friends uh, meant to, uh, you know, be like sex in the city 
or something like that. I kind of wonder, I mean, think about those ladies, uh, for instance, or think about the, the, the guys and girls from Friends. Um, what was going on for them? Um, the, what was the whole, uh, um, you know, can't keep a job, can't stay in a relationship, um, constantly worried about uh, this thing, that thing, or the other, and always bringing their problems to their friends, because um, I know some people like that, and their friends don't like that. Uh, I don't know, I, this, my second cancer story, um, was I just read about this one. It was, to, it was an advice columnist saying, um, a circle of ladies that have been together since uh, college, and one of the ladies, uh, about a year ago, uh, got cancer. And uh, so all the ladies have like a weekly get-together at least, and uh, this lady has been using it as like a cancer therapy session uh, for over a year. So what used to be the girls getting together, having some tequila shots, uh, watching a movie, uh, tickle pillow fights, um, now became a, uh, uh, an opportunity for one person to dominate um, the topics for over a year. And this lady's like, God, I don't want to be like, yeah, sure, you got cancer, now get over it. But I kind of want to be like, yeah, sure, you got cancer, get over it. Um, <laughs> you know? It almost seems to me that the only way that uh, Sex in the City or Friends uh, would work would have to be like that one terrible movie I was talking about at the beginning. You just have to just say, um, you know what, screw it, we're all not going to get along, we're all not going to just do the right thing. Some of us are going to be boring, some of us are going to be obnoxious, some of us are going to go too far, some of us are going to go not far enough. But, you know, that's just, that's just going to be the way of things, that's the way of life, and I'm not going to... You know, just decide we can't be friends because you did this. You know, it's just, we're friends. Um, but then almost like try not to um, get drunk and kick out the front door. Or, uh, um, you know, I'm really attracted to uh, uh, my best friend's girlfriend. I'm going to put the moves on her. You know, she's like, you know, I'd just rather have a good Christmas rather than uh, a potential awkward sexual encounter. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, well... A little bit of a, uh, a spastic talk on uh, friendship. So you tell me what you think, girly. And uh, anybody else who wants to chime in on this uh, friendship investment thing. All right. Peace out.